Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cameras and Gear. As uh, we've talked about before, the, it was the launch of the new EM5 Mark II. And there's some accessories that slowly start to uh, come out and appear on the internet. Well, I've got an accessory to show you today. And here it is. So it's still in the box. I need to do a little unboxing and I thought we'd dive into that and I can show you on the actual camera. What this is, it's the ECG-2 and it's actually a, a metal Arca Swiss plate that goes on the bottom of the camera. So instead of having the battery grip um, and the, the normal sort of split grip that you can have with the EM5, this is a, a solid aluminium plate. It fastens to the bottom of the camera and then it also turns the whole of the bottom of the camera into an Arca Swiss plate. So a lot of landscape photographers will know about this. It can fit on straight onto the top of the, um, the tripod mounts without putting an adapter on. It's also got an Arca Swiss bracket that goes on the side as well. So you can go from portrait to landscape without bringing the lens off the axis of your tripod. The good part about it is once you've put it on, you can still get access to the battery uh, door underneath. So let's head over, we'll do a little unboxing and then we'll also see what it looks like on the camera as well. Okay, so here we are and we've got the, the box with the new Arca Swiss plate for the OMD EM5 Mark II. And as you can see, this is the ECG-2. So let's get straight into this uh, unboxing. And we'll see exactly what's in the box. So we've got um, some instructions here. Now it is a three part system, but it all comes in the one box. So we've got uh, an extended grip here, the actual Arca Swiss plate, and then the side mounting. So we can do portrait or, or landscape orientation and keeping the lens on the same axis as your tripod. What this it does is when you're taking a picture, instead of having the camera like this and then swinging it round, you're taking the lens off the axis. But with the Arca Swiss plate, you have the camera in your portrait orientation, you take it off and you put it back on in the, the landscape and it never moves off that same axis. So there's just a, a little picture on how it goes on. Just screw straight onto the underside. So let's pop that over there. So those are just the screws. It comes with a, a nice set of Allen keys. Okay, so this is the actual uh, grip for the front. That's nice. It's actually made out of aluminium. So that's actually good and solid and it's got a rubber coating on the front, so I like that. Nice touch to it. This will be the side mounting. So very solid made, just a, a full piece of aluminium. This mark here is the center mark, so you know when you put it on the tripod that that's the actual center mark, and you can see you've got the Arca Swiss cutouts either side there. So this will be the actual plate itself. Let's move this box out of the way. Yeah, it's very light. Doesn't uh, put a lot of weight to the camera. And what we've got here, we've got a, a rubberized bottom there. So it uh, grips as you put it onto the camera. We've also got the Arca Swiss plate on both sides with a center mount there. Turn under, so as you can see, you can still get to the battery compartment once it's fitted onto the camera. Uh, little cut out there with obviously the name of uh, Olympus in there. And this is interesting, so we've got the point here where it fixes onto the camera and we've still got our thread. So if it was to have uh, one of the Black Rapid systems, then you could still screw that underneath so you could use your black rapid system as well 
The only thing you would need to do is obviously take that off when you're using the Arca Swiss plate on the tripod. Or you can do what I, I do and uh, I've got a, a little mount and I'll show you this. So this is what uh, I've made. This is my black rapid strap. And then from really right stuff, I've actually got uh, an Arca Swiss adapter. So I never need to screw anything into the bottom of my camera because literally this will just slide on. And then I will just tighten up. And then that's it. Nice and solid on there. And it's not going to go anywhere. And then when I want to put the camera on the tripod, it's just a simple case of undoing. I slide it off my black rapid strap and it's done. So there you go. There's the, the plate. We can uh, put it together here. So let's just pop these out. I might as well pop it all together and see how it looks. So this one would screw into the, the bottom and that goes into the bottom of the camera. This one will fit into the ends there. You have to excuse my hands, something that can't be helped when I'm uh, putting it all together live on the camera. Very easy to put together. I'll just do a little nip there. Not too tight, feels nice. And then this is, at, that's actually the, the grip ready to go on there. Uh, this is optional if you want to put it on. Firstly, I would have it on all the time. So I am a lover of popping it on. Just slots in there nice, you can't get it wrong. There's two prongs and it just slots in there nice. Then we get the other little pin. We screw this into the end. And this will protect your camera as well. So if you do end up dropping the camera, which I hope you don't, you've got a plate that's protecting it on the sides, the front now. There we go. And the back. So that's it all built up. A view from the back. And the side there. Very nice indeed. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to now put it onto the camera and I will take a couple of uh, snapshots of it on the camera and I'll put it at the end of the video. I'm actually filming this video with the EM5 Mark II. It's a great camera to do the videos with. There you have it, the unboxing of the ECG-2 Arca Swiss plate for the OMD EM5 Mark II. Thanks for checking this unboxing video out. Please do call back. We're always posting more tutorials and unboxing videos. If you've got any questions, please post them down below and I will respond to them as fast as I can. Otherwise, Follow us on Twitter, head over to our Google Plus page, or drop me an email. Check out my website, I'm always putting workshops up and around the country, and I'd love to see you on them. Thanks a lot, see you soon.